Good morning again, everybody. It's Thursday. I'm going to try a little bit of a different setup. I have my mic right behind my Bible, which is right in front of me, uh, to do the reading, just so it doesn't look like I'm staring off into space or, you know, looking down the whole time and you're seeing the top of my head. All right, so today we're doing chapter 20. This is Abraham and Abimelech. Now Abraham moved on from there into the region of the Negev and lived between Kadesh and Shur. For a while he stayed in Gerar. And there Abraham said of his wife Sarah, She is my sister. Then Abimelech, king of Gerar, sent for Sarah and took her. But God came to Abimelech in a dream one night and said to him, You are as good as dead because of the woman you have taken. She is a married woman. Now Abimelech had not gone near her, so he said, Lord, will you destroy an innocent nation? Did he not say to me, She is my sister? And didn't she also say, He is my brother? I have done this with a clear conscience and clean hands. Then God said to him in the dream, Yes, I know you did this with a clear conscience, and so I have kept you from sinning against me. That is why I did not let you touch her. Now return the man's wife, for he is a prophet, and he will pray for you, and you will live. But if you do not return her, you may be sure that you and all who belong to you will die. Early the next morning, Abimelech summoned all his officials, and when he told them all that had happened, they were very much afraid. Then Abimelech called Abraham in and said, What have you done to us? How have I wronged you that you have brought such great guilt upon me and my kingdom? You have done things to me that should never be done. And Abimelech asked Abraham, What was your reason for doing this? Abraham replied, I said to myself, There is surely no fear of God in this place, and they will kill me because of my wife. Besides, she really is my sister, the daughter of my father, though not of my mother, and she became my wife. And when God had me wander from my father's household, I said to her, this is how you can show your love to me. Everywhere we go, say of me, he is my brother. Then Abimelech brought sheep and cattle and male and female slaves and gave them to Abraham, and he returned Sarah his wife to him. And Abimelech said, My land is before you. Live wherever you like. To Sarah he said, I am giving your brother a thousand shekels of silver. This is to cover the offense against you before all who are with you. You are completely vindicated. Then Abraham prayed to God, and God healed Abimelech, his wife, and his female slaves, so they could have children again. For the Lord had kept all the women in Abimelech's household from conceiving because of Abraham's wife, Sarah. So we see Abraham do the same thing with Sarah. Uh, you know, say you are my sister and not my wife. Uh, but this time, Abimelech, uh, you know, says, I didn't do anything wrong they both said that they were brother and sister i had no idea that they were married um so this is overall i think just a lesson of like abraham said there was no fear of god in this place so i think this is just to help you know instill install that fear of god um with abimelech and everybody in his house but just it shows you know how great everything that god can do is because he took away the ability to have children to everybody in Abimelech's household and then gave it back to him very quickly instantaneously so that's just you know I mean having a child and giving birth is a miracle in itself but then having the ability to take it away and give it just like that you know it's, it's just a wow factor to think about all right well I um I have the end of my semester coming up in the next couple weeks. I have, you know, some finals, some papers, um, and also Christmas is coming up. So things are just going to get crazy hectic. I apologize if that in turn uh, makes me skip a day or two, which I'm really, really going to try not to do because I do like doing this every day. I kind of have my schedule set up. You know, I like I relax, finish homework throughout the evening. Um, work out, shower, come over here and get a recording done. And it's just, you know, it makes my night just structured. And then I get to go to bed. And um, yeah, it's, it's been helping me stay on track with everything. And um, that's why I really want to keep doing it. But again, sorry if it, if it uh, you know, gets interrupted because of everything going on. Uh, other than that, I hope everybody's having a great Thursday so far. Only one more day until Friday. And, I mean, well, the rest of this day, obviously.